Just a few years ago, if you wanted a high-powered hybrid, your choices were limited to a few expensive options. The McLaren P1, the Porsche 918, and this, the $2 million LaFerrari. The LaFerrari and its competitors proved that hybrid power is a viable source of energy for hypercars moving forward. But Honda engineers did something even more impressive. They took that same hybrid power, paired it with a smaller V6, and made it more attainable. Like the LaFerrari, the NSX is a performance-oriented hybrid. And like the original, this one is a pioneer. Because Honda was early to the punch, now other companies are forced to play technological catch-up. Porsche, Audi, Mercedes-Benz, McLaren, all of these companies are going hybrid at some point or another. Uh, that'll be a hybrid. That'll be a hybrid. That'll be a hybrid. The idea across the board is to add power without losing miles per gallon. The only way to do that really is by dropping displacement and adding electricity. And that's exactly what Honda did here. Instead of using the V10 that was originally planned for this car, they dropped the displacement down to a twin turbo V6. The engine itself is good for 500 horsepower, but once you add the three electric motors, total output is at 573. The only thing we can really fault the powertrain for is its transition from electric to gas in the city isn't perfectly smooth. But once you find a stretch of open road like this, it has tons of power. As quick as the NSX is in a straight line, this car was made for the track. Acura engineers tweaked the suspension and added new sticky Continental tires for 2019. Plus, the six piston front and four piston rear Brembo brakes give it plenty of stopping power. So the NSX has four driving modes. Like most sports cars, there's a track mode, a sport plus mode, a sport mode, but unlike other sports cars, the NSX actually has a quiet mode. And when you put it in quiet mode, it dulls the engine and the exhaust note and makes for a really comfortable drive. The NSX has a really pretty interior. The blue leather is new for 2019, the seats are snug but not too bolstered, and the steering wheel is thoughtfully designed with good grip points. Really, the only downside is the infotainment system. It's old and outdated relative to the rest of the car. It's actually the same system you get on the last gen Civic. Also, give me a damn volume knob. Honda, in typical Honda fashion, rewrote the history book on a segment that's been relatively the same for decades. Granted, this next generation of hybrid sports cars will all be faster and more advanced, but as we meet those cars over the next few years, we'll at least be able to look back and see where it all started.